Hey guys, today we would like to show you how to install the auxiliary rear tanks for the KTM 790 or 890 Adventure. When you buy um, the auxiliary tanks set uh, from Rade Garage, you will get the tanks itself yeah, from, uh, poly, uh, from Crosslink uh, with uh, fuel cups. You will get the, the decals. Yeah. Uh, here is the fuel, uh, fuel line set and here is uh, the linkage fuel line between the original tanks. Also the airflow and the mounting hardware. The start is easy, you remove the seat first and then the, the side plastic panels. Here is one pin and here is second pin, yeah? so you get out uh, and, and here is hook, yeah? so carefully one pin, second pin and then you shift forward because here is uh, another hook. Remove also the other side. Now you remove again on both sides um, this uh, holder. Now we need to remove this side plastic panel. Here are two bolts. Here's third one. Uh, here's the fourth one. But you need to remove also this uh, battery cover, one and other bolt, to access this one bolt from top. Yeah, And then you can remove the side panels out. Now you need a little bit trick to get out the battery cover um, because there are two hooks somewhere in here. So you need to lift it this direction up and on both sides, sides simultaneously like this. Yeah, you see here is one hook, second hook. Yeah, so carefully up. Now we can finally reach uh, the the last bolts from the side panels. Here is one more pin, uh, so you need to lift it out up like this. And here is last one hook, yeah, this one. You see the tank is mounted through the grommet and the grommet has a collar. Here you see here is a hole in the original plastics. This hole is not big enough to put through the collar of the grommet. So you have to enlarge this hole to be able to put it over the grommet. Now you lose these four bolts and you remove the rack set. Here is the tile fairing. Yes, so we need here to cut here these small triangles to be able to put through um, the air vent. Uh, so you take a pliers like this and you cut here and you cut here. So this triangle uh, gets empty and you do it on, on both sides. And you can immediately mount it back. Before uh, we put the sticker on, we need to clean it a little bit. Peel it only mm, half the surface, yeah, because uh, you don't, so you don't touch the uh, this glue area. Um, there are more ways how to do it, but I start, as I said, here with this corner and I try to align, even it makes here strange shapes, so I try to align this, uh, this top line as, as much as possible at the beginning. So when you catch this corner and, and this line, so then it's important to go carefully here down, yeah, pressing with your toes um, all the air out, yeah, up you get it here, yeah, and and then you could, and, and then you finish here up, yeah, and it's done. Take this pin um, and um, put a bit of Loctite and mount it here from the back side of the auxiliary tank. Now you take uh, the angled banjo, the bolt and two cooper washers like this and uh, you bolt on here. It's air vent system of the tank. Yeah? At this stage it's enough to just finger tight more or less in 45 degree angle. Now you take um, 
the compression emitter, let's take the shorter one and two grommets. You start that you put the grommet like this on the compression emitter. The shorter one you will use here. So you put it from outside of the tank, you flip the tank and you put the second grommet from out uh, from outside. And it's and you do actually the same way in the back of the tank, only you use the longer compression limiter. Now cut about 30 centimeters of this um, air vent tube, yeah? Insert it on the angle banjo. The angle banjo is six and this is five, so it goes a little bit harder, but at least it, fit, it, it fit, sits there well, like this. Before we mount the tanks, we have to put back the side plastic panels with a bigger hole. Uh, first you put, push through uh, the vent tube and now you click the pin and now the tank uh, is ready to bolt on. Now you take the M6 by 70, the long bolt and you bolt on and to the front goes the M6 by 45 and again you bolt on the tank. Now you can fully tighten the banjo bolts. Guys, now it's very important how you do the air vents, yeah? So let's consider the main one is from the right tank, yeah? And you connect uh, the left one with a T. It's a five millimeter diameter, yeah? You go under the seat lock. Here you fix with a zip tie. Around here goes the seat, so carefully here. Here goes again the seat, so you go ne uh, next to the plastic. Yeah, around the battery. Yeah, and here it's very important to do this loop, yeah? because the loop is as high actually as the, as the filler, as the gas level in the front tank, yeah? So you have to reach the same gas level also here, yeah? To fix it in this position somehow, we use here one zip tie and here is second zip tie, but don't over tight the zip tie, otherwise you will stop the, the air circulation, yeah? And here you go down. Uh, the airflow goes uh, behind the tank, you see it here, here goes uh, under the bridge and uh, we take it um, behind the sprocket. Yes, so this is one option where you can quit it. Yes, yeah, second option, you can take it up here and down to the skid plate, yeah, and um, fasten with a zip tie also, yeah, to fix its position. So up to you which one you uh, choose. A quick explanation to the four line. Um, yeah. Uh, I recommend to do it from the right side of the motorbike, yeah? Uh, you see the longer one goes to the other side, the shorter one goes to, to the right side. I would go here under this, under this cable and under the damper uh, stuff here, yeah? And around the frame to the back. The shorter one goes here behind the frame tube yeah, and back to the to the tank yeah, and now the front goes here around the oil cup down down here and then to the front now we take uh, the bolt cooper washer one goes from the bottom to the banjo one goes on top and then only a finger tight find the proper angle to catch the thread yeah and at this stage only finger tight you can see from the left side how goes behind the frame tube in the to the front and under the tank goes the full line now again you take the bolt one uh, cooper washer on the bolt through the banjo second one yeah, find the angle to catch the thread and again finger tight guys we need to get out the skid plate so here are four bolts we need to uh, remove 
another bolt is here and on the other side also and from the bottom of the skid plate there are the last two bolts uh, to remove and then you get uh, the skid plate out. Here is the original bridging fuel line between the left side and right side of the main, main tank. Yeah? I've cut it the original zip ties and prepared new zip ties here and I have also moved to the left side um, the, the heat shield yeah? because now we will use this T connection yeah, to connect the auxiliary tanks to the main tanks. Yeah? You have also option to use our uh, fuel line that you get in a kit yeah? or you can cut the original as, as you want. Yeah? Uh, so before I cut I first rather secure with the zip ties again so I know exactly where it is. At least this one. Yeah. Now we see this one is a little bit longer. So I suggest to cut a little bit behind. One more check. Always good to double check. Prepare the T, diameter six millimeters, and uh, and the sleeves. Yeah. Uh, take one sleeve and put it on a fuel line. Yeah, coming from the back and now uh, put on the T. And now we can measure where we will cut the bridging line. Yeah, more or less here. And you connect one side, second side. And here, here you can see how the uh, rear tank is connected to the bridging for line. Yeah, um, it's good to use here uh, the zip tie. Yeah, to fasten to fasten it here. Here is zip tie. There is one more zip tie. Yeah, so it's enough secured. Guys, uh, the installation of the auxiliary tanks for the KTM 790-890 is finished. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations to to your great mechanical job. Yeah, and uh, we wish you uh, many nice kilometers on your adventure rides.